Hey everybody, welcome to Indie Games Level Up. I'm your host, Phil Lubensky. This episode is coming to you from MIGS, the Montreal International Game Summit. Hey everybody, I'm here with Astrid Rosemarin, who is a community developer at Execution Labs. These are the people who funded games like Secret Ponchos, Afterland, and Moon Hunters, which are companies we've interviewed before. So, hi Astrid. Hello. So tell us about who you are and uh, Execution Labs. Execution Labs is an accelerator and a funder for independent game studios. Execution Labs specifically is interested in the company and the team. So we fund a game, we help you work towards a specific goal of a game that, we're, that you apply with, but we take equity in the company and we're with you for the long haul. As a community developer with Execution Labs, I coach all our teams on all things marketing, communications, community, growing, and essentially setting the studios up to have a fan base for which to be able to sell to. If you're trying to market your game for free, then it means there's a big time investment. And usually what that means is to organically grow a following on social media, for example, you have to be very consistent. Something like that requires a lot of planning, consistency, making sure you always have content to publish on a regular basis. Do you have any advice for independent developers who are trying to market their game? Generally, the key is to focus everything under the banner of the studio rather than individual people. But at the same time, it's really about splitting up amongst your skill set. So if someone on your team is really great at art, maybe they should be running a Tumblr for you. For a small team, it's way simpler to go where the masses are, and that's Facebook and Twitter. And if you're trying to grow a studio, I would say make a studio page on LinkedIn to post your business updates. And then you start picking out the niches within those bigger social networks. And also not being scared to share your content prematurely or before you feel like it's ready to go out. So going to local game shows or indie meetups or things like that means taking an ugly prototype with you to get feedback about from other developers. That's all growing your community. It's just not your conventional, conventional like putting an ad up or having a commercial on the radio or something like that. So can you tell us about any exciting games coming out uh, that are funded by Execution Lab? Yeah, so uh, Moon Hunters, who we were talking about earlier, they're going to come out early 2016. PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist is going to be coming out on Steam as well. The Steam version of Big Action Mega Fight, which is one of our original games that we funded from Double Stallion. There's a really incredible puzzle platformer called Klaus, which is all surreal and mind-bending. That's coming out in the winter for PlayStation 4. We have a whole lot coming out next year. And so I highly recommend that you follow us on Twitter and Facebook, where I publish all the game updates. What's the Twitter at? Execution Labs. It's that simple. Do it now. This episode is sponsored by the Canada Media Fund. Since 2010, they've invested over $50 million in Canadian indie game studios. Indie Games Level Up is produced by Handmade. Handmade creates video game trailers, commercials, and this web series. This episode is sponsored by the Montreal International Game Summit. Get to the next level with MIGS.